So, do I need this chair or what? I think I need this chair. Yes. <laughs> My name is Danny, and I am the fashion citizen of Washington, D.C. So today we are shooting an upcoming birthday shoot. Um, for myself, I always like to do a really fun editorial-esque birthday content post. So the theme here is obviously pink, <laughs> all pink everything, and um, crazy eights because I'm gonna be 38 and I have some cards from earlier shoots that are gonna be incorporated into the full spread. I would describe the energy of DC as vibrant and fun. And I think that we have this stigma that we're not vibrant and fun, but we really are. My blog, Blonde in the District, um, is very near and dear to my heart. I have been blogging almost 10 years, and I have been in the Washington DC area for a very long time. Uh, being in Washington really has brought out a need for style because it's so conservative here and I wanted to elevate it and really show that in Washington DC we are more than just suits. You can look great but it's not always comfortable and if I'm going to take you around DC I can't be walking around in these shoes so let's go. But not yet. All right let's go see DC. So this is Goodwood. Goodwood is one of my favorite shops, my favorite shop in DC, let me rephrase that. Um, as you can see, it's just incredible, unique, so different, and something that DC needs. All of the vintage home decor, and also clothing, which includes um, size inclusive pieces, which is a big deal to me, and it is very hard to shop. Um, for size inclusive pieces in DC and Goodwood has that. So let's check it out. Also look at this jewelry, like everything here, just amazing and so different. A few weeks ago I was on their Instagram, well I actually opened Instagram and the first post that came up in my feed was from Goodwood from the front of the store with a painting that I actually drew when I was in like middle school, crazy. So they acquired this painting. I don't even know how it got out of my possession, but it wound up here and I was able to be reunited with it. And it's just, I feel very spiritually connected here and it's a very special place. So, oh gosh, this chair, amazing, right? Um, I think, you know, just inspiring other people to be comfortable and confident trying something new, trying a new style that just makes them feel good and feel great about themselves. I think that's my favorite part of the job. Okay, so that was Goodwood. Now we are off to National Gallery of Art. Let's go. So the fashion community of DC, you know, I've talked about how DC gets this stigma as being all suits. And while you do see that in certain parts of DC, we also have a really cool community of creatives. You know, just the different, how the different neighborhoods can even inspire fashion and style. We're headed to, today to the museum, to the Smithsonian. I love going to the museums. An amazing thing about DC is all of the Smithsonian museums are free. So the National Gallery of Art actually has two buildings. They have the West Building, which is where we're going to today, and the East Building, which is um, their like modern, modern art. And um, it reopens June 30th, but it's closed right now. Always gotta be photo ready. Some of the best things about DC are this. That's a Da Vinci. 
I think the best way to experience DC is definitely a mix of the local and bigger tourist spots. You can't come here and not see the Capitol or go by the White House. That's part of DC. This is my favorite painting in all of the National Gallery of Art. Isn't it cute? Look at even just some of this, like the necklines and things, like when you see what people wore, if it's a period piece or even if it's um, an abstract piece of art, how it can inspire color and the way that I incorporate color into my style. Fashion is wearable art, that's what clothing is. You wanna know how not to look like a tourist in DC? Don't do this pose. I'm just kidding. Do whatever pose you want because you're lucky to be in DC. So we are now at Union Market. Union Market is my one of my go-tos in, in DC. I shoot content here a lot. They have some great street art, amazing food vendors. Just the vibe is awesome and you can always guarantee you're gonna have fun when you come to Union Market. So let's go see one of my favorite vendors. Okay, so we are at lunch, brunch, whatever it is, um, here at Buffalo Bergen and Union Market. Brunch is a huge deal in DC. It is something that we do amazingly well, like a lot of other things. And can we just talk about this Bloody Mary moment? You want a good Bloody Mary? Come to Buffalo Bergen. All right, you guys, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch, my Bloody Mary here at Buffalo Bergen. I'll see you soon in DC.